All right, I think we are set up. I need to change the thumbnail, so we're actually going to do that real quick. Let's do a quick YouTube thumbnail change. Hi, everybody. This is the Discord-only live stream. If you're watching this on the rebroadcast, uh, I just did a live stream with uh, a public YouTube, so everyone got to see it. Um, but I am going to be doing. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. I'm going to be. I am doing a Discord only right here. So, guys, if you are in the YouTube chat right now, jump over to Discord. Go to the Firehouse Chat Live. So, Rainin, Walter, Alex, Monica, thank you for commenting on this. This is the beer channel. Let's go ahead and get out of that. Let's get out of that. Let's Boom, boom. Okay. So we're, I need to create a thumbnail for this. So go ahead and jump in here. So jump in here to chat. As you can tell, it pops up on the live feed. So we're going to do that. No, you guys are fine. You guys are fine. So jump in. On, watch it on the live stream, but then jump in on here. So head on over to the Discord. Go to the Firehouse Chat Live. You see that it pops up. Let's do it. All right. So... I'm gonna go ahead and I'm making I'm like changing I'm trying to get some stuff done so let's we have to get this going so I got let's see let's go over here we are making this possible because I, I took a picture there we go so this is gonna be the thumbnail we're gonna make a quick thumbnail so people can actually see it I didn't have time to do it so we are going to do that Let's go ahead and duplicate. This is a, a behind the scenes how I make thumbnails. This is how I have it all set up. So this is a review. So we are going to, and I can, I've been making my thumbnails a little bit quicker each time. So we're going to highlight all this. So this is Photoshop CS, I think nine. So I just want to highlight that. Cool, I think I got it. We're going to create a mask. We're going to refine it. Let's go ahead and you know, let's shift the edge. There we go. That looks good. Cool. It creates a duplicate. Let's do blending options. Let's do a gradient overlay. This is, I was working on this. Let's make this part black. Okay. Let's make it not, there we go. Cool. We're going to do a blending options on this. We are going to do an outer glow drop shadow. Let's make the outer glow just a tiny bit. There we go. Oh, looks like I messed up. Um, I missed this part. So let's go ahead and include that. There you go. So now we can create the mask. Cool. We're going to do that all over again. Super easy though. Gradient, yes, yes. I like using the same color as uh, that part. Marshall's DDFM. Okay, and then we will go over here. Blending options. Let's do outer glow. Like I said, we're just gonna make it so it pops a little bit, just a little bit, and we're gonna blur. Yes, has to rasterize. We're going to blur the background just a little bit more. So this pops out even more. And today is actually, this is going to be the the thumbnail for today's video at 2 o'clock. Now I'm going to show you something. So this is, let's go up here. Okay. So let's put install. Simple. Simple, simple, simple. Except for I need one more L. Install. Why isn't it? There we go. Cool. Let's place it. Let's save for web. Save it. Let's call it install. Awesome. Now what we're going to do is change this to call it live edit for today's video. Put it there. And I have a blue one. That I like to use. Now, all we're going to do is change the gradient color to blue. That's it. And we shall do that. 
So live, and we shall exit. Oh, I clicked no. I accidentally clicked no, don't save. Well, that's fine. <laughs> we are going to change the thumbnail. There we go. It seems like the stream health is not very good. I don't know why. Yeah, Viper. Um, I don't have an edit beer, Shane. Sorry, I just now I'm back in the Discord because I was trying to get that done. Uh, I'll show you a link. Let's see. Where's my links? So the link I'm gonna post it in the YouTube and I'm gonna post it in the Discord. Actually, I'll post it in the Discord right here at Viper. Ra yeah. That's a free link, and I'm also going to put it in here. And then I'm going to put it in here. I'll, you know, I'll do that later on, on YouTube. But I don't know why the stream health is so terrible right now. Sometimes it does this. All right. So we're going to put Warp Stabilizer on. Okay, it's got that. It's got that. It doesn't have some Warp Stabilizer. So now we're going to jump into the other video that, that I have and what we're going to be talking about. So we have these saddlebags. So that's the GoPro. And it's 12 minutes. Is that this one? Hey guys, it's the review, so stay tuned to that. I want to go right. Okay, so it's that one. Since we're going to be using the GoPro mostly, we're going to we're just going to do this. We're going to merge the clips with the GoPro. It's processing. See a viper. All right, firehouse chat live. Just hanging out with my Discord members. All right, so this is going to be a brand new video. Okay, cool. We are there. Okay. So there's that. So there's that. all together. All right, cool. Hey guys, I wonder how that transition is going to be. Hopefully Um, I think I messed up. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. All right, so vocal. Cuz I usually don't put the GoPro on here. Synced up with the audio, I usually do the uh, Yi. So this is kind of mess up my workflow a little bit. All right. It's not too. What is up, everybody? Dan, Dan. Hey guys. I wonder how that transition. Okay. So the transition is because I actually have. Where is it at? So I have footage. I didn't put it in there for some reason. So let's go to the footage. So I have the install footage. So raw footage. Okay, so I didn't I didn't include it, so I need to do that. I still have it on my SD card. We're gonna get to that. So open a new window. So boom. Boom. Crap. Wrong button. It's going to pop up now. There we go. So that's going to take a little bit because I filmed that. I think that's why it was not widescreen. So I also have task cam footage then. How's everybody doing? I'm talking out, talking to myself. How do you contribute to the page? Been following you on YouTube for a while. Uh, just joined the Discord. Gibby, if you want to, you can become a patron or do super chat. The thing with the patron, though, it, it allows me to um, send you something if you do uh, see veteran crew or, or higher. 
so it allows me to give give you something back uh, when you do it on the super chat it uh, YouTube takes a cut so that that's the only issue I have with super chat um, other than that if you want to become a patron I would truly appreciate it um, that'd be awesome if you could if not uh, just just by being in the chat just by subscribing and watching my videos that helps me out a lot too but if you want to do mon money, then uh, you go there. There you go. Thank you, Rookie. Appreciate that. Um, let's see. Is this stuff already transferred yet? All right. Sweet. Transferred. All right. So it's, I still got task cam stuff that I got to do. So this was the, the filming. No, I don't want to do that. Task cam. I know I filmed like twice. All right, let's just do this. Saddlebags, task cam. I thought I had everything. I have everything that I did today on here. I don't have everything that I need on here. So we're going to import those files. And we got to wait for these files to be imported also. So these ones are going here. So this have to conform down here. This is conforming on the bottom. Thank you, Gibby, for wanting to do that. If you can't, that's perfectly fine, too. That's perfectly fine. Not so great, Father. Why not, man? So let's see. Doing camping stuff. So the camping. That's the camping. So that's my girlfriend using my task cam. Okay, that's Nikki using it. That's Nikki using it. Okay, so I must have filmed. Okay. Okay, so that's me. So I, I uploaded the wrong ones. So it must have been these ones. Okay. Figuring it out, figuring it out. So task cam. 47 to 50 is what I need, so we can get rid of this to this, okay. And then we need to... We're getting it, we're getting there. We're getting there. And then here we are. Come on. Come on over. Boom. So importing the files. That should be it. So it's conforming. There we go. To be honest, it's, it's super scary and super deadly <laughs> when you're around a, a big old truck on a motorcycle. So that was the truck one. You know what? I don't think I ever I think I don't think I used my task cam. I think that was part of it. Duh. So we got this. Um let's so it's straight up no external audio recorder on this one, which is fine. And then Alright. I don't know why I was clapping. I'm used to doing that, but I don't have my external mic. So we're going to start. This thing is running. I believe it's it's on me. I think so. External mic. So we're going to start. External mic. There we go. So this needs to have vocal. Enhancer. It's a little loud, so you can tell the difference between the audio. All right. 
right, so here we go. We're, we're gonna start. This thing is running. I believe it's it's on me. I think so. It's 1080p widescreen, so it's gonna be pretty pretty nice. All right, guys, here we go. You ready? All right. What is up, everybody? Dan. So I was doing a live stream also. What is up, everybody? Dan and the Fireman here. I am going to be putting on my sissy bar back on, but then I'm also gonna be putting on the Voyager luggage from Burley Brand. I got two of these. I have the mounting brackets. I have everything kind of ready. I have the fender pulled apart. If you want to see those live streams, I do have those up to where I put the new TC Bros um, license plate relo relocator because I had to relocate it because this would have been in the way. I also had to relocate my turn signals because that would have been in the way. So if you want to see all that, it was a lot of it was a lot of hassle, a lot of work. But I do have those links in the description. It was a live stream. And it's just basically how I would have done it as a normal person. I don't have any technical skills or anything like that. I just have a bunch of tools and what the instructions. Let's put this on right there. Once again, so this is the video that's going to be coming out today. So it's 11 o'clock here. This needs to be up in three hours. So I'm going to be kind of focusing on that. We're just hanging out. Um, I'm trying to think of what I need to be doing. All right, so lighten. Okay. Just say. But I just, so I still need to do the patron list and everything and get that going. I want to say thank you to Get Lowered for giving me a, an awesome deal. Oops. Turn signals because that would have been in the way. So if you want to see all that, it was a lot of it was a lot of hassle, a lot of work. But I do have those links in the description. It was a live stream, and it's just basically how I would have done it as a normal person. I don't have any technical skills or anything like that. I just have a bunch of tools and what the instructions say. But I just want to say thank you to Get Lowered for giving me a, an awesome deal on these and for Burley Brand for making such an awesome uh, bag. This is really cool. I really, really wanted to have these at some point, especially now that I'm doing motorcycle camping, and it's going to be awesome. But uh, one thing I found out is that since I had the Burley Brand Sissy Bar, it became an issue when it came to the bolt sizes. Uh, from what I understand is that I had to get longer bolts because these will stick out just a little bit more because it used the same mounting brackets as the sissy bar. So I went and bought some extra bolts from Fastenal, but I'm gonna be installing it with the provided hardware and if there's an issue, I'll show you what I got instead that, that will help fix that hopefully. And then hopefully this will solve every, every issue that I have, but I can't wait to uh, start installing this stuff and take you through the just a quick journey. I do have a live stream going on right here. You guys can't see it, let's actually switch you around. I got a live stream going on right there uh, with that camera. And if you want to have any of the behind the scenes type stuff, see this is where, this is where you mess up because I'm going to cut. I don't want the camera. I got a live stream going on right there uh, and take you through the just a quick journey. I do have a live stream going on right here. You guys can't see it. Let's actually switch you around. I got a live stream going on right there uh, with that camera. And if you want to have any of the behind the scenes type stuff. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm like super focused on editing because this is like the one that I have to get out. Um, just sign up as a veteran. Nice, Gibby. Uh, I think I just got the email. Let's double check. I just got the notification. I see you in here. Nice to have you, David. Nice to have you. I gotta. You're gonna get some stickers and stuff once it's once it goes through, man. Appreciate it. Um, let's go ahead and make you while we're here. Let's give you a patron role. So now you have access to the patron lounge. So nice to have you at Gibby and Firehouse Chat Live. You got this. You got the special color now. 11 patrons on right now. That's insane. 11 patrons. Um, yeah, I'll be sending you some stickers and stuff, dude. Can't wait to do that. Thank you for becoming a patron. I appreciate it. You are helping me out quite a bit. Quite a bit. Everyone say thank you. Everyone say, you know, hi. Do an at Gibby on here in the Discord. Say thank you. He's he's. You're making. You're you're helping me out a lot. looking at the discord rain and posted a, a photo of her and deadpool that's awesome 
All right, so here we go. See, this is where, this is where you mess up because I'm gonna cut. I don't want the camera to be moving. So I'm gonna redo that. So, so if you want to have any kind of behind the scenes stuff, make sure you join the Discord channel because they are the ones that are seeing this first. And then uh, with that camera, and if you want to have any of the behind the scenes type uh, with that camera, so if you want to have any kind of behind the scenes stuff, make sure you join the Discord channel because they are the ones that are seeing this first. And then uh, uh, with that camera, so if you want to have any kind of behind the scenes stuff, make sure you join the Discord channel because they are the ones that are seeing this first. And then uh, I will make that public a little bit later. But let's go ahead and install this video or install the the bags and get this going. Let's. I gotta put all this stuff back together. Alright. So going. Let's. I gotta put all this stuff back together. Alright. So this is where I'll just cut that. This is cut, and then uh, now I just gotta figure out what to, what to do next. Um, let's see. That's the great thing about the E4K. The uh, the battery lasts forever. Forever. <laughs> So here we go. So here's the uh, Burley brand. So here we go. Back together. So here's the uh, Burley brand parts, saddlebag brackets for everything that I need to do. And this is specific to my bike. Uh, I believe they make these for Dynas, but that might be a little different. I had to relocate the turn signals. I'll take a picture of this and and uh, put it up on the screen and I had to relocate the turn signal I didn't take a picture of it that means I gotta go back to take a picture of it because I left the I left that there maybe I'll just cut that out signals, I'll take a picture of it. I had to relocate the turn signals signals I'll we'll see take a picture of this and and uh, put it up on the screen and I had to relocate the turn signals just because of the way mine were sticking out. Have you seen? We'll just do that. The turn signals. Just because of the way mine were sticking out. Okay. The turn signals. Just because of the way mine were sticking out. If you've seen any of my older pictures, you'll see how they stick out and how I had to uh, move them. So I got it all done. I did all that, like I said on the previous live stream, and I am ready. I'm ready to install the mounting brackets to the fender itself. Um, I already took all these bolts off and everything, and the thing is, I have to put the sissy bar back on first. So I need to do that. So it's all going to be like one big motion. So I need to go ahead and start doing that. So the four mounting holes will use the small. So the four mounting holes will use the smaller one. The rear mounting holes will use the larger one. Through the turn. So that goes through there. I'll mess with that later. So then... But then I also need the sissy bar on. I'm going to leave these little spots in here. And then, because uh, I cut to this. Ooh, it looks pretty. But then I why, is, why are you calling it Greek? Need the sissy bar on. The sissy bar. See, this is the part that's going to be a little difficult because I gotta. So we're actually going to skip almost all of this. I talk about how difficult it was. There we go. We just literally get rid of all that. All right, we are back. Um, I basically needed two extra hands. All right, we are back. Um, I basically needed. So I'm gonna put four mounting holes. We use the smaller one. mark right there because I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about how it was just difficult. Um, I basically needed two extra hands. So what I did was I put the um, turn signal brake light in between the uh, the frame. There we go. In between the frame and the Burley Brand sissy bar. I, I had to like maneuver it. I wish I had another set of hands. 
but I was able to make it work. It was, you'll see the hassle on the live stream if you want to double check that. Um, but I had to use, now this is where uh, having an issue with Burley Brand and how their system works because this is the Burley Brand Sissy Bar. This is the Burley Brand Saddlebags. They should go together. You should have the equipment necessary to go together. But I recognized through pictures only that the Burley Brand Sissy Bar and the Burley Brand Saddlebags use the same mounting brackets, um, but they didn't include longer bolts. So what I had to do is I actually had to order longer bolts from Fastenal or you know if you can find it at Home Depot, Ace Hardware or whatever. But basically the bolts that, that it comes with are two and three quarter inch long and then three inches long. Now you're supposed to use the three inch long ones on the front with a spacer and then the two and uh, three quarter ones in the, in the rear per the instructions. But I had to swap everything around, I had to mess with everything and I actually had to use the three inch ones in the rear and then I had to use the three and a half ones that I bought. These are three and a half inch, um, really nice uh, grade eight steel and I had to use it in the front with no spacer because the sissy bar basically creates a spacer in and of itself. So if you have a Burley Brand sissy bar, you're gonna have to buy extra bolts. You're gonna have to buy three and a half inch. I'll put a link in the description to the exact bolt that I have. There's no affiliate with that. It's just from Fastenal. Um, but if you wanna buy it from Amazon or wherever or Ace Hardware or whatever, that's perfectly fine. But I will show you these exact bolts that I bought. And mm -hmm. this was 20 bucks because of shipping and all that stuff just so I can install this um. front part. Um, I everything works. I'll show you after pictures when I when I did this. I did a little mock up and About I put the bags minutes. on here oh, and it clears the uh, the light and everything. But I had to use three and a half inch in the front, and then I had to use the. Let's go ahead and grab it. So this part we can cut in the front, and then I had to use the. Let's go ahead and grab it, and then I had to use the three inch ones that were provided for the rear and the back. So these two right here had to go in. And after I did everything, that's that's basically it. You use the same uh, washer You'll find as a job before again, Father. as the stock washer. Boogie. It's the same one that you would use when you took it off. And then you have to use all the mounting hardware from the inside. All they provided were bolts, spacers, and locking washers. That's it. So I really do think that they should have included um, some more stuff, but I will be talking about that in my final review. This is the install video. I want to kind of show you all that stuff, but it's super simple if you didn't have to do any of this license plate stuff, but if you did, please check out the link in the description. It will be to the live feed. It's, it's roughly an hour long of me installing. You can skip and do all that stuff, but it's a, it's a, it's a lot of work. It really is a lot of work. Um, but I think it, it I think it's worth it because it looks badass. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and install all this, all this other stuff. We're gonna fast forward. It's just a matter of putting the bolts through, uh, using the locking washer or using the washers that, not washers, the nuts that you that you originally had, and that's it. It's just as simple as putting the sissy bar on. That's what I really liked about this system. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and use some Loctite and everything, and uh, we'll uh, see the end product really soon. Hey guys, really soon. So right here. Like I didn't want to film while I was installing anymore because it was just it was ridiculous to be honest. So we're gonna do this. Let's do a cross dissolve. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. We're gonna do is get rid of that. Get we're gonna unlink this part and remove that. So actually, we're gonna do this. Soon. Hey guys, I wonder how that transition's gonna be. Hopefully, it's not. Wait, I did it backwards. I'm so used to having the GoPro up top. So we're actually going to disable that. Up really soon. Hey guys, I wonder how that transition's gonna be. Hopefully soon. Hey guys, I wonder how that transition's gonna be. Hopefully it's not too much of a giant jump and it's super loud. Um, I skipped quite a bit towards the end on the install. 
only because of this. I, I was running into so many problems. I was... This is the thing when it when it comes yeah, to we're here for you, Father, stuff man. on a bike, you can run into things and nah, don't rush not, things. You didn't think it was gonna happen. Um, you can see a lot of that on the live stream stuff that I did post um, for the Discord and everything. You will see this uh, a lot of this tomorrow, and uh, but you're, I'll put links in the description to all the the live streams that I did. So we got another. Like, it took me a couple hours to get all this stuff done, and I'm still not done. Let's... But I'm gonna go ahead and pull off. One second, we got. We got another patron. We got Carlos. We got another patron. Thank you. Another veteran crew member. I gotta. I almost gotta make like a whole new veteran crew intro. Over here, and and uh, I'll show you what I mean. I think this is a good spot. Okay. So this is what I wanted to talk about. Okay. So this is what I wanted to talk about. So I got the bags here. I took some pictures um, so you guys can have even a better look. And I'll be pop popping them up every once in a while when I'm describing what I'm... So we're going to do a warp stabilizer on this. Saying. So right here, and I know this is on widescreen, so it's going to be a little bit wider. Um, I have the bags installed. I finally got them installed. This is what they look like. I got, like I said, pictures and everything set up. Um, to me... I, th I think they look amazing. They look amazing. Popping them up every once in a while when I'm describing what I'm saying. So right here. So we're gonna switch over to this. Now the problem is I think I had it on. It's not wide, and then when it's not on wide, it tries to do image stabilization. Actually. And I know this is on widescreen, so it's gonna be a little bit wider. Um, I have the bags installed. I finally got them installed. This is what they look like. I got, like I said, pictures and everything set up. Um, to me, I, th I think they look amazing. They look amazing. This isn't a review. This isn't a... Uh, bag review. This is still part of the install. And I want to talk to you about some of the issues I had on the install. And I will be mentioning a lot more stuff during the review. So stay It's not shameless, Father. Tune to that. I want to go writing for a while before I actually do the review. So I'll be letting you know about that real soon. Because, like, you know, like buttons and stuff, like how they were good and all that. So anyways, here's the thing that I had issues with when it came to the install. If you have the Burley brand sissy bar, you're going to run into problems. You are going to run into problems. Problems because for some reason, the Burley brand saddlebags and sissy bar are really not that compatible unless you make it compatible, which is weird because it's the same product or not the same product, but the same brand, same company making these products and they're not really they don't really mesh but it's doable you can make it work and i made it work um but it's not going to look as good as it would be if you just had a regular sissy bar like not a regular but like a different brand that went inside on the inside and didn't use the mounts for the frame on the outside and i'll tell you why and i took pictures and i said i'm gonna pop them up here um it sticks out a little bit more than it should and i had to modify the way i installed it so I'm importing my pictures right now. You're going to run into problems. You are going to run into problems because for some reason, the Burley brand saddlebags and sissy bar are really not that compatible unless you make it compatible, which is weird because it's the same product, or not the same product, but the same brand, same company making these products, and they're not really, they don't really mesh. But it's doable. You can make it work, and I made it work. Um, so we're going to do this, but it's not going to look as good as it. So the first one, this is a video. So I like to have motion. So we are going to create motion. So at the very beginning, we are going to have the scale at a hundred, but we're going to make it one Oh five. So it's going to have motion. It's going to look like it's zooming in good as it. So it's motioned. Um, we are going to put cross dissolve on all a lot of these um, but for now we're just gonna copy paste so copy paste attributes and that's gonna paste the motion so now all of them are gonna do that it would be if you just had a regular sissy bar like not a regular but like a different brand that went inside on the inside and didn't use the mounts for the frame on the outside and I'll tell you why and I took pictures and I said I'm gonna pop them up here um, it sticks out a little bit more than it should, 
And so when I talk about sticking out, so which one's the one that sticks out? There we go. Pop them up here. Um, it sticks out a little bit more than it should. And I had to modify the way I installed it. Now, what I had to do is that they do uh, include, um, what is it, uh, bolts in there. They include the bolts and everything. But if you have the sissy bar, it does use the mounts, the same exact mounts that you would use for the saddlebags. And that causes it to where you need longer bolts. I had to actually go out and get bolts from Fastenal. All, uh, you know ace hardware or whatever and I had to actually buy them and order them and it cost me a little extra so just be aware if you have have the burly brand sissy bar you're gonna have to get longer bolts there's no way around it. you're gonna have to get longer bolts or just not use the sissy bar anymore that wasn't an option for me I wanted to use the sissy bar so I went and got longer bolts it cost me a little extra and you're gonna have to basically go up to and I'll have the link in the description to the bolts I used you're going to have to go up to uh, three and a half and four inch bolts. Um, I will take pictures uh, underneath to see how you see how much clearance you actually do get. Uh, I removed um, the, wire, the, the red reflectors on the sides and I had to do a relocate of my. Uh, underneath to see how you see how much clearance you actually do get. Uh, I removed. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, underneath to see. How you're gonna have to go up to uh, three and a half and four inch bolts. Um, I will take pictures uh, underneath to see how you see how much clearance you actually do get. Uh, I removed. Um, get. Uh, I removed. Uh, I removed um, the wire, the the red reflectors on the sides, and I have to go up to uh, three and a half and four inch bolts. Uh, I removed. Um, the wire, the the red reflectors on the sides, and I had to do a relocate of my license plate. Bracket. Now I have the install video of that. Um, it's it's just a live stream of me doing it. It's super easy, super simple. The problem is the wiring. So this is where I got into. Yeah, give you. It, it takes a lot, man. Thank you, Carlos. Everyone say thanks. You know, Carlos, you are a Discord member now, so let's go ahead. Or, I mean, a patron, so there you go. You get the patron color. Thank you, Carlos. Um, yeah, dude, it takes a lot. Yeah, this is a lot. This is what I used to do as a part-time. This is this has actually calmed down the anxiety that I had. So, it's, it's relaxing to me. Another, another issue is I thought I, this was just a simple... Yeah, the dog does make it look better. Did I did I take the one with the dog out? And the dog, guys, is my dog Stella. There she is. Let's see. For me, I wanted to use the sissy bar, so I went and got longer bolts. It cost me a little extra, and you're gonna have to basically go up to. And I'll have the link in the description to the bolts I used. My license plate bracket. Now I have the install video of that. Um, it's it's just a live stream of me doing it. It's super easy. Super. Super simple. The problem is the wiring. So this is where I got into another issue. Is I thought I, this was just a simple in install on the side like the sissy bar was. Nope. I had to relocate my turn signals and brake lights, which I actually need to go get uh, a bulb for because I burnt out that bulb. And uh, I had to relocate these, which was not an issue. The wiring itself was an issue. I had, I had trouble with the connections. I had trouble with all that stuff um, just because I'm not good at it um, I'm just a normal guy so if, if you're just a normal person that doesn't have really a lot of mechanical skills you could still do this you just might run into some issues the TC bros uh, license plate relocator which is down here does uh, license plate relocator which is down here which is down here does clear when you put it on the shock mount and you can also put it on the um, what is this called <laughs> the axle I don't know I forgot um, but you can put it on the shock mount and that's where I put it and to me it, it looks good and it clears the the saddlebags but I really wish I could have it vertical but I can't because I I can't do that it's not gonna fit because of the saddlebag and the reason why I want it 
vertical and I actually might play around with that maybe it will clear I don't know we will see is because when I lean I don't I don't typically uh, scrape pegs but I want that option if I have to you know what I mean this right here is about the same level as this so if I have to scrape pegs I am going to hit that and this is not flexible this is not going to bend back like like my old one that I had up here it's not going to bend back in case I hit it this will break off I'll lose my license plate and I'll lose um, the license plate here it's cheap enough to replace but I don't want it to accidentally grab something and cause me to drop the bike so that right there I have to be more cognizant and aware and the only reason why it's that low is because it's the horizontal you can actually mount it vertically and I'm gonna see if I can do that and it's hopefully still clear the saddlebag um, so like I said I had issues with the the bolts and the mounting um, I originally where and the only reason why it's that low is because it's the horizontal you can actually mount it vertically and I'm gonna see if I can do that and it's hopefully still clear the saddlebag um, so like I said I had issues with the the bolts and the mounting um, I originally ordered just longer bolts I had so I was gonna use the three inch that comes with and I ordered three and a half inch and I thought that was gonna be good enough but it wasn't so I actually had to order four inch bolts also so I have to order four inch bolts and three and a half inch bolts and I didn't want to wait long that long because it's taking me forever I have to add the or special order them for fast and all they had to ship here so I went to Lowe's I found some some bolts but it's not the socket head the smooth socket head so which one is it is it that one nope is it that one nope that one there we go Lowe's I found some some bolts but it's not the socket head the smooth socket head it's just the normal typical bolt and it's right here and, I, and I, a picture will pop up and everything but as you can tell I had to put washers so as you yeah right here there we go up and everything but as you can tell I had to put washers so as you yeah right here there we go as, as you can tell I had to put washers and everything so it can clear this now I will when I go over the review I will show you how easy it is to take off and everything but if you do that if you go to Lowe's or whatever and you just get this right here this type of bolt it will rub on this and it's already looks like it's already rubbing um, on this side hopefully it's not upside down I don't want to be upside down for you guys hello it, live streaming oh. Still? yeah if you get it for over there it's gonna rip a hole in your bag now it's already rubbing based on the fact that it's touching but the socket that's in there the the bolt that's in there is recessed so it's not gonna rip into the bag this bolt over here if you get these longer bolts and you get the one that's inside here it's gonna rip a hole in your bag so you really need to get socket head bolts that like the ones that came with the install but you have to get longer ones and, and that costs a little bit more um, so I actually have some on the way that's going to be coming in, but I wanted to test that out and that's going to rip a hole. So I'm going to remove those once the other ones come in, but just so you guys know, that's what happens. Um, I had to follow, I've tried to follow the instructions as best I could. The instructions, just like any other instructions are blurry. You got that issue with the pictures, they're blurry. Um, the spacer that it came with originally is supposed to be on the front. Originally, it's supposed to be on the front mount, but the way things worked, I had to move it over here because it was like torquing. It was weird looking, and and I think that's because of the sissy bar. So that's the issue I was having with the sissy bar, and I'm not gonna get rid of it. But I just find it so weird that the bracket, the mounting bracket for Burley Brand, doesn't work with the mounting brackets of the sissy bar. I like that they used it so it's so simple to attach, just from the outside. You don't have to mess with too much, but these two systems don't work well together. You can make it work, like I did, and it looks great, but you're gonna have to spend a little extra, you're gonna have to do a little extra to make it work. And that could turn off a lot of people, but if I could do it, you could do it. I did it within two days once I had all the hardware. But the thing is, I had to go out and I was like, man, I, I went to go start doing it. And I was like, man, I gotta relocate my license plate. And it even says it on the instructions. I didn't know that. And it's like, you gotta reloc relocate your license plate. I was like, okay. So I went and ordered this thing. I was like, well, now I need a jack because I have to take the shock off. 
Oops. There we go. And I need the, you know, jack. I need to jack it up. So I had to do this. I do that. And then it's like, now I don't have long enough bolts because I have the Burley brand, uh, Sissy Bar. So I have to go order new bolts. Now I didn't order the right ones. I have to order another set. Now I got to do this. Now I got to do that. And then once I got it on, like once, once I was able to put it together, once I had all the equipment, it was easy. The fact that I had to do all this pre-rec, the pre-stuff beforehand was a little upsetting to me, but I got it done. It wasn't, I mean, it was easier than changing my clutch and I changed my clutch. Um, it just, it was a hassle, but I'm glad that I got it done because it looks nice and I'm going to do like the actual review of how much you could fit in here and all this other stuff. I'm actually going to do that. Uh, pretty soon, I'm gonna, there's some other things I want to do, and I actually want to test these out before I do a final review. I want to go camping with them and all that stuff. But the install was a little bit difficult. Um, it was a pain in the ass, actually. It was, more, it was more of a pain in the ass than it was difficult. So if you want to check out the live streams of those um, to kind of get the feel of it, it, di it did take me a while to do it. But I'm not going to hide anything from you guys. It's like that. It was a hassle, but you can get it done. Um, if, if you don't have to deal with anything, it's really just bolt in super simple bolt it all together and that's great that's what i love about it and that's why i went for these because i remember how easy it was for this but there was some prereq stuff that i had to go through and i wanted to share that with you beforehand but there's going to be a review on this i really love these bags they look awesome they look amazing i think it looks it meshes pretty well i need to get more brown and green on my bike so it actually you know starts looking really good because these are the only colored things i have like just black on here so these things you know they look amazing the only thing that matches is my gloves but if you guys like this kind of stuff, please click that subscribe button right next to it. There's a notification bell button. Uh, it really helps out the channel. I just hit past 40,000 subs, so this is awesome. Um, but I will be doing uh, more stuff with these bags. I will be talking about these bags more and more. I need to test them out a little bit longer before I can give you guys a full honest review. This was just part of the install video that I wanted to talk to you about um, because I was just running into issues. And I just want you guys to understand that it, it can be done. All right. All right. With that said, uh, be safe, ride safe, all that stuff. <laughs> And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. See, the, the cool thing about this video, when you, don't, when you do a tip video, you have to do like a lot of editing. With this one, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty easy because if you want to keep it, like for me, I want to, uh, not sideways, but it didn't turn out very well. And it's like, the best thing I could do is tell you about the issues I had because it's easy. It's just a bolt on, but I had issues. So I wanted to explain the issues I had that you're going to run into so it doesn't overwhelm you. Um, that was what this video is about. So I'm waiting for this to stabilize. It's at, it says it's going to take 12 minutes. I don't think it's going to take 12 minutes. But I have these marks up here. It was a live stream, and it's just basically how I would have done it as a normal person. I don't have any type So the forward mounting holes, we use the smaller one. The rear mounting holes, we use the larger one. That goes through there. So I'll mess with that later. So I have a mark right here because I want to do um, stay tuned for my explanation of this hassle. There we go. So we're going to click this, make it a title. this right here center it boom boom forward mounting holes we use the smaller one the rear mounting holes we use the larger one so that goes through there so I'll mess with that later but then I also need the sissy through there so I'll mess with that later but then I also need the sissy bar on this is the part that's gonna be a little difficult because I gotta there we go all right we are back um took some pictures um, so you guys could have even a better look and I'll be pop pop so I'll put some pictures up right now so I have so we'll do this and copy paste attributes yes open them up every once in a while when I'm describing what I'm saying so right here, and I know this is on widescreen, so it's going to be a little bit wider. Um, I have the bags installed. I finally got them installed. This is what they look like. I got, like I said, pictures and everything set up. Right here, and I know this is on widescreen, so it's going to be a little bit wider. 
Um, I have the bags installed. I finally got them right here, and I know this is on widescreen, so it's going to be a little bit wider. Um, I have the bags installed. I finally got them. So, let's let the warp stabilizer do its thing. Oh, I'm getting tired. I need caffeine. It's almost noon. Maybe I'm just hungry. Um, let's see. Let's see. So we got another 10 minutes of this live stream. I see you guys in here. Um, I'm just trying to get it done because this is the video that needs to come up in like two hours. So it takes about 20, 30 minutes to upload and I don't know if YouTube is going to demonetize it, so I have no chance to 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 fight it before it goes live because it takes a few days. If it does, um, but that's what the Patreon's for, and that's what super chats for. You guys have been very helpful with that. So here we go. Them, them installed. This is what they look like. I got, like I said, pictures and everything set up. Um, to me, I th I think. So I think it's pretty much done. I just need to let. This says it's going to take three minutes to finish the warp stabilization. So that's what this is what it looks like. It's analyzing the background, um, and I can see it up here where it says time remaining, and then it shows how many frames it's done. It's done 88% of all the frames in that section that I've done the warp stabilizer. I've added the pictures. I just need to add the cross dissolves, um, the install part, and everything else is done. That's the great thing about this type of video is that there's not a lot of polish that you need to put in there. The more polish you do, the more fake it seems. Uh, on this type of video so it's almost done it says less than a minute and you'll see that you'll see when what I see so it's at 95 percent this is where having a fast computer really does help so 50 seconds it's going down like super quick so let's go here dang Gabe after a 15 year break that's a long break boom here it goes Hi. So it's stabilizing, shouldn't take very long now, and it's going to boop, it's going to zoom in a little bit, and it's going to stabilize to the part where it vibrates a lot. So once it does that, um, I'm done. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to check all the cross dissolves, see they're zoomed in a little bit, there we go. So I'm going to check, so this has cross dissolve, cross dissolve cross dissolve these all have cross dissolves that one I purposely left that's it wow um, I'm gonna double check it so what is up everybody Dan and the fireman here I am going Ooh, that's like really loud so we're gonna do a constant gain at the front you always you want to have good audio especially at the beginning What's up, everybody? Dan and the Fireman here. I am going to be putting on my sissy bar back on, but then I'm also going to be putting on the Voyager luggage from Burley Brand. I got two of these. I have. Now the... I got to double check the transition between two so audios. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and use some Loctite and everything, and uh, we'll uh, see the end product really soon. Hey guys, I wonder how that transition is going to be. Hopefully, it's not too much of a giant jump and it's super loud. Um, I skipped. Okay. So this is what I wanted to talk about. So I got the bags here. I took some pictures um, so you guys could have even a better look. And I'll be pop popping them up every once in a while. Later, Gibby. Thank you for becoming a patron. Um, appreciate you being here. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost done too. So this, this live stream is going to end in about a couple minutes. Uh, it's really me just trying to like hyper-focus on editing. Um, this was a longer video than what I just edited for the Saturday just an hour ago. Good, as it would be. But this one needs to be done like today. Uh, this is the, the video that's coming out in two hours. What is up, everybody? Dan and the Fireman here. So I am going to be putting on my sissy bar back. What is up, everybody? Dan and the Fireman here. I am going to be putting on my sissy bar. So that's you know that's pretty much it. So this is um it's not going to be an install video per se. So this is going to be. Um, early brand saddle bag install issues. That's it's simple. 
I had an issue installing. Um, all right, man. Peace out. Peace out, Gibby. I need to get lunch. All right, back on, but then I'm also going to be putting on the Voyager luggage from Burley. So I wonder if I should call it Burley Brand Saddlebag Install Issues. And then this is all keyword stuff. Burley Brand Voyager Dark Oak. We'll call it that. That's it. Uh, that's the video. Now what I do is is export it. There we go. Export media and then I have my own presets right here so I got a bunch of presets and I filmed this in 1080p 60 so I have my preset for 1080 60 and exporting it's a it's almost a two gigabyte file so it's gonna take a while on top of having to load it to YouTube or upload it to YouTube on top of putting the cards the description all that stuff so that's that's how long it takes for just one video. I spend well over two hours per video on top of having to film it and plan it. So it's you guys make it possible to where it's monetarily possible for me to do this by being uh, patrons and by commenting and sharing and all that stuff. So thank you so much, Gibby. Uh, I need to change Lieb Liebling Schlieben, I believe. I need to change. You, you asked me to change. Um, actually, you know, we're canceling that. Because I need to put patrons in here. I need to put the patrons in here. And I need to put the Burley brand and get lowered. So we're not done yet. We're not done. So we need to go over here. YouTube. So we got we got get lowered. And Burley. The Voyager luggage from Burley brand. See, if I just, that's the problem with rushing, is that if you rush, you, you miss. And I got two of these. I have the mounting brackets. I have everything kind of ready. I have the fender pulled apart if you want to see. So get lowered. So we'll put this here, and then we need to put sponsored by. Sponsored by. Because this was a. I got a nice discount on these from from Get Lord. So we'll do this. Actually, we'll move this over here. Oops. So we'll put that. We'll move the Get Lord right there. We need to put the patrons because you guys make it possible. Oh, but we have to go here. This should be in my stuff. Let's finish YouTube. For I'm trying to rush, and that's the problem. So, patron logo. Let's see. Patreon logo. That's what happened. I literally just took it off the internet. That's the problem. So we're gonna go ahead and do this, and we're gonna create a new whole new one. So we're gonna do. We'll do YouTube thumbnail. We'll use that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. YouTube thumbnails set up pretty pretty good. So let's where did I let's do this? Desktop. Okay. So this is what I did. This is how I made the first one. So let's put a new layer. Let's color, copy that color. But first we are going to make this a lot smaller. It, it looks funny right now, but watch. Okay, there. So now we can make this smaller. Cool. So now I can fit more names. So maybe I will do. I won't have this. I'll have it up here. And 
then we'll save and we'll put this in my YouTube shortcut Patreon Premiere Pro cool click this we don't need to save that so we are going to go now to what we just made where to go Patreon let's go oh there it is so we are going to put you in finish YouTube files Patreon premiere so this is going to be this is just real quick because we got the Patreon intro so we're just going to take the audio. Consider supporting Dan and the Fireman on Patreon for just $1 a month. More information. So we'll need to put a vocal enhancer. We need to change the effects. We need to increase the volume. Boom. Consider supporting Dan and the Fireman on Patreon for just $1 a month. More information in the link below. All right. Information in the link below. So now we can put Patreon, the patrons. So now we gotta adjust it. So we can do this, senior crew. We're gonna have to do this. So we'll just leave it like this, but then we'll create, we'll put this over here for now, but then we're going to do this. Let's move this out of the way. It's not going to be retirees. It's going to be captain. So let's move these over. This one's going to be a little bit bigger. And we'll just get rid of the thank you. Let's move you over. Let's move you over. Because we're going to have to do this. Actually, no, we'll leave that. Because now we have to do this. I'm just copy and pasting because I need to do that. We're gonna so I can I can keep the font and everything. So we're gonna view all the current patrons. So we have some new ones today. So it's gonna save real quick. Auto saves every five minutes just in case it crashes. I have a five minute. I mean it's still a lot of a lot of done in five minutes. We're gonna keep this uh, going until I I figure it out. I and mean, it's over an hour, but we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep it going so I can do this. Come on, hurry up. So we got Carlos, David, Dustin, Brian, today alone. Um, and then I got to double check my patron. Or not my patron, but I know you wanted to be called something else. Okay. So I'm literally going to copy and paste it. And I got to cross reference it with the patron list. Let me uh, let me say something to you. What is your name on Patreon? Again? So I know which one to cop to take off. So we're gonna put you up here, and then patrons. So we got Carlos now. We got. David G since we have I think we have more than one David Dustin 
So Carlos, David, Dustin, Brian. Do I have Sebastian in here? No, I do not have Sebastian. He's also a new one. Sebastian and Omar. Okay, we got Omar. Justin. We, okay, so we got we got all those. Boom. So we can actually make this a little bit closer. Cool. All right. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to get it going. I think there's one in here that I have to get rid of. We'll see. One second. Uh, Liebling Schlieben, um, if I have you on here twice, I, I message you because I don't know your... I, I know everybody by their Discord names. So, all right, so we got that, we got this. We can actually make this bigger for now. Cool. So this is what it's gonna look like. Consider supporting Dan and the Firemen on Patreon. So I actually don't like this. So we'll copy and paste. We're gonna do this. See how that works. Nope. I think we should do underscores. Let's see how that looks. Okay. I think this needs to move a little bit. And then that means that needs to move a little bit. Okay. Let's see. Boom. Patreon for just $1 a month. More information in the link below. What is up, everybody? Dan and the Fireman here. I am going to be putting on my sissy bar back on, but then I'm also going to be putting on the Voyager luggage. Okay. On from Burley Brand. I got two of these. I have the mounting brackets. I have everything kind of ready. I have the fender pulled apart. If you want to see those live streams. So we'll make that a little bit longer. We'll make this a uh, 12 second. I do have those up to where I put the new TC Bros um, license plate relo relocator because I had to relocate it because this would have been in the way. I also had to relocate my... Cool, cool. And then I think for now, until I get more in this area, I'll just put... I'll just put thank you. this and we'll make it a little crooked turn on for just one dollar a month more information in the link below what is up everybody Dan and cool I think that's it now we can export it takes a little bit of time just to do those little few things and that's just how it works so it's 1900 megabytes that's crazy um, but that's it guys uh, I will be ending the stream there I got all the patrons here Got them all in there. I think uh, Lieben Schlieben, I have you twice on here. We'll find out. It doesn't matter. We'll we'll change it all up. But I got to get this one going for today. Got two hours, and this is going to take about 30 minutes just to render. Uh, maybe even longer. But uh, that said, I'm going to go ahead and get something to eat. I hope you guys ride safe. And check this video out when it comes out in two hours. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow and Friday and Saturday. Um, but I'll be in the Discord this whole time, so you want to check out the Discord. Um, you guys are all in Discord anyways. If you wanna <laughs> if you wanna chat with me in the Discord, that's that's what I'll be doing. But I'm gonna go ahead and out. I'll see you guys later.